you're such a brave soul. Old Zenobia is just dying to take you to my witch's dungeon of nightmares. Hold on your broomstick, dearie. <laughs> However, let's not forget, all this began with the creation of a gypsy witch named Zenobia, an actress, June Foray, who gave her a voice. You know, the witch's dungeon that I recorded a witch for, for Cortland, you walk into that museum and the sculptings that he made of the people who are in horror films all the time, they're so real, it is... It is absolutely fantastic. Kids love it. They go there every Halloween to be this entertained. And maybe a lot of the kids didn't even know some of these characters, but they sure do when they go to the witch's dungeon. I did so many of the voices that of the Disney features. Then Disney realized that I was versatile in what I could do. And he called me in and asked if I could do a witch voice. And I said, well, <laughs> of course I can. You know, I, I hadn't done it before, but I did it. And it became extremely popular. It was called Trick or Treat. And then in 1955 or 56, my agent called and said, how would you like to work at Warner Brothers? And I said, boy, I'd love to. They said, you're going to work for Chuck Jones. And I said, Chuck who? <laughs> He said, oh, well, he does Bugs Bunny. And I said, well, I know Bugs Bunny. But anyway, I went into the studio, and Chuck handed me a script, and it said, Witch Hazel, a witch's voice. And I was too timid, because I had never met Chuck before and worked at Warner's, to ask him how he could do that, because I had just done it at, at Disney's. And they called it the same thing, the same actor. Of course, it looked different. But I found out later that Witch Hazel is an alcohol rub, and Disney couldn't copyright it. So there we are with Witch Hazel and Zenobia now. <laughs> <laughs>